put through a series of styling rods, hot rods, and the curl is literally baked into it while it's wrapped around these rods for hours and hours and hours. So this permanently puts the curl in the hair and then it's added to the wig cap and then you have yourself a wig. Well, although it's baked in, over time the curl can kind of diffuse or dissipate and instead of those really nice little tight spiral curls that it came with, it will loosen up over time because it's just kind of hanging there and the weight will kind of pull on the curl. It's just gravity, y'all. So if you wanted to, say, add the curl back in, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Ready? First, we're going to want to start by finding the section of hair that you need to treat. Let's section off the hair to the area that only needs to be treated. Especially if you have a curly or wavy wig, you really want to separate the areas that you don't want to steam. Because if the steam hits one of these other curls, you're gonna end up loosening that curl. All right, so we have the section right here that we're gonna work with. I really love the John Renault steamer just because it's so compact and easy to use, has the directional nozzle, so that way your steam spray area is not gonna be like this wide like it usually is on regular traditional steamers. It's gonna be focused just to this one area. For such an area as this, look how easy that is to just focus on this one spot. With your traditional steamer, you would be affecting an area about this wide. So anything on this side or this side, you're gonna end up ruining the curl. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna turn this on. Now your John Renault steamer is only gonna take about three minutes or less to heat up. Uh, what I would highly recommend that you do, manufacturer says you don't have to add uh, purified water or bottled water of any kind. So I recommend that you use some sort of filtered water because it will leave the white residue on the inside and make it kind of gunky. So it's up to you. Use regular tap water, go for it. If not, use the filtered water. It'll just keep it cleaner longer. Now you can see that she, <laughs> this is already starting to bubble up and yep, steam's gonna start coming out of here in just a second. This is the fastest steamer I've ever seen. It, look at that. It's already bubbling up and steam's gonna be coming out. It takes no time, well, look at that. It takes no time at all for this to start working. Now, you'll want to take your steamer and a carbon comb and a little bit of HD spray. This is your HD Smooth Detangler by John Renault. Give it a couple of little sprays here. Use the wide tooth area on the comb. Get those knots out. Let's just focus here and run it down. Now she is a little tangly at the bottom. And you can see too that the hair pretty much straight now. Ow! See, that's why you gotta be really careful. I bumped the nozzle, got hot water on myself. Be very careful, people. So 
So now you can see this area is completely straight. All right. At which point, if I didn't know any better, I'd be freaking out because I've taken the curl out of my beautiful wig. Do not fear. I'm gonna show you how to get that curl back. What you're going to need is while it's still wet like this, you're gonna to wanna to section it off into where you want it to be curled. So it was two curls before, I'm gonna make them back into two curls. At which point, you're going to get out your foam rods and your T-pins and your perm papers. I'm using perm paper, and the reason for this is you don't have to use it, but I prefer using perm paper. That way you're gonna be able to catch the ends and have a nice uh, curl at the end rather than having it be straight and then the hair's coming out at the bottom of the curl or curling rod. So you'll take a little bit of water and spritz, ooh, that's a big spritz, spritz your paper, put it on the ends, to hold those ends together. And you will take one of your foam rollers. And I like to kind of wrap around in a spiral. And you'll want to take your T-pin, run it right through the foam roller, like so. And then you will want to pin your foam roller to your blockhead. Since this straight hair is in my way, I'm gonna to wanna to pin this up. Here we go, and I'll give you a better look at this. See how I wrapped it around? And I've got the end paper here. Now this is going to bake that curl right back in. If you see some of the hairs kind of sticking up, like right here, you can take your rat tail end of your comb and kind of train it to go around the curler. There we go. Again, this is a carbon comb. It is chemical safe and heat safe. Definitely use one of these. You don't want to end up ruining your comb or your wig. All right. Make sure you get those ends. And there you go. You want to leave it for 24 hours before you take the curler off. Now we're gonna work on the second one. And that, my friends, is how you add curl back to your synthetic wig because this is gonna bake that curl right back in. All right, so tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and come back and remove the curlers and show you what it looks like. 
Hello and welcome back. It has officially been 24 hours since we steamed our wig. Now, we are going to be taking out the rods and seeing how it looks. Here's the first one. Check that out. Got one. And we have our other one. These are those curls that we did yesterday. And look how beautiful they are. Brilliant, right? And see, using the end papers, we were able to curl the ends. So they match with the other ones. So there you have it. How to steam your wig, straightening it, and also adding curl. If you have any questions or comments, please drop those below. I'd love to hear them. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope that you found this informative.